Hello, and welcome to the first episode of Idle Hero Star Defense. Oh yeah, you guessed it, this is the business new game. And it's amazing. I already played the alpha a little bit, um, and I'm really digging it. It's much, much better. So, this is what happens when you log in. You get your free gift. 250 gold, 50 energy. Um, you have your usual maps. Let's see, prestige. So you have different kinds of maps. Um, other maps which are unlocked by a wave or jumps. Jumps are not mandatory, you can just get to the waves, I suppose. Um, let's go through everything a little bit. Yeah, so you have the prestige, you have the upgrades. So you have the energy symbol upgrades here. Um, let's see. Game speed, skills, ultra bosses. I mean, these are just all of the regular upgrades, I, I suppose. I, I'm interested in bonus XP here. It's really nice. Bonus XP, rank XP. Um, give it spells. Ooh, there's a lot of spells here. Ooh, that's actually really interesting. Okay. Uh, hero buffs, so. Damage increase, attack speed, range, critical hit, critical hit damage. You have landmines, blizzard, gold increase, XP increase, oh, and then the energy farms, skill cooldowns, skill power, and increase game speed. Oh yeah. Power ups is from prestige power. Uh, prestige after a wave 50 to earn your first prestige power. Okay, and then you have the upgrades here. Oh, energy income. All right, ooh, Power Mage's exotic alien tech. This is uh, basically like tech points, I suppose. We'll see, we'll see later. Oh yeah, you have a uh, rune rarity chance. So, I'm gonna show you guys already. There are three bosses here. The goblins, which drop gold, Power Mages, which drop Energy and then the training derby, which is a huge experience boost. Then when you go a little bit down, then you see Acing Shadow and he drops runes. And then you have your exotic alien which drops tech points. Scrolls. So the tech points are used here when you kill the exotic alien. And then you just build up all of this. Uh, tournament is PvP tournament. Premium we'll go we'll get back to premium. Um Ancient runes, that's the ancient shadow that you have to kill. Or uh, progress, so if you get to like wave 10, you get uh, one rune basically. And this is the chance of runes that you get, so rune rarity increases the chances of getting you to mythics. Which is obviously better than regular ones. Premium, these are things with gems, you actually get gems pretty quickly. Um, decently quick, especially in the beginning when you do all the achievements and stuff. Um, I would probably focus on the exotic alien tech and the Asian shadow runes. That's what I've been trying to do, but not sure if it's the right way. But it's at least what I've been doing. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of them. heroes. There's a lot of heroes here. There's also hero presets, which is very cool. Oh well, yeah, I didn't show that yet. You have upgraded the spells and you have spells presets as well, which is really cool. Alright, so, uh, this is the map. Let's build something. Um, basically, you need to unlock um, towers with energy. So, let's unlock the druid. Uh, as you can see, like there's different kinds of towers here. You get the militia first, that, uh, that one's free. He's a DPS tower. And what's so cool about towers in this game, uh, they have milestones, so like at level 25 he gets like a plus 10 damage boost, which is a personal effect, but for example when he's like rank 500 you get plus 5 rank XP, which is a global effect, which means if another tower kills uh, an enemy, then they also get plus 5 uh, global uh, rank XP. Um, so how does this work? Let's buy a druid. There we go. So if I want another druid, which is actually possible, I'm gonna do that right now. See, I can actually have two druids on the map in this game, which is really cool and it, it opens up so many builds. 
Um, yeah, let's. I'm actually gonna press play. Let's just go for it. Um, yeah, let's check out everything here. Hey, right, upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. There we go. So all of the milestones are different. So for example, Militia has different milestones than Druid, and Druid has different milestones than anything. Skills, everything has skills, so all the towers have different kinds of skills, uh, different kinds of stats here as well, I guess that's normal. And then you have the combat style, which is completely new in this game. Uh, you can choose like some kind of combat style if you want. Um, the Archmage is really nice for things on skill support for example. Um, that's all I can think of at the moment. I mean this one's also really nice for um, pushing and then kill, kill gold is very nice for farming gold and all that kind of stuff. So you kind of have to see. I mean the game is new, I don't know what what, what is the best and what is not. So um, that's stuff that you guys still have to figure out. Um, then there's also rank. Rank is basically your evolution, your, your experience that you get. So whenever I kill something here I get like plus one. Let me just here. So whenever I kill something I get like plus one and this is my rank. Uh, whenever I get like to a new rank then I basically um, get some extra attribute points and those attribute points I can basically put them into all the skill upgrades here for example attack speed or skill power, kill goal or whatever. Um, something else that is new is synergy, and there's actually three tiers of synergy, so tier 1, tier 2, and tier 3. Tier 3 obviously being the best, and as you can see you have like numbers here, for example Templar with level 50 and Scout level 50, which means they actually need to be at rank 50, and both on the map, in range, in order to get this personal effect here. Which is a really cool thing in this game. Uh, it opens up a lot of possibilities to create combos and stuff like that. Um, yeah. Um, there's no optimal set yet because I only have played the alpha for a little bit, so still have to figure everything out. But keep watching for guides and stuff like that. You have the target options, obviously. Uh, furthest long path, closest to hero, most HP remaining, least XP, uh, HP. Extra options, focus on boss, boss skills only, and skill support, which is really nice for some of the uh, uh, towers. Actually, I'm already losing here. Oh, We're actually almost at wave 10. Uh, let me just buy some extra towers because it is needed. Let me just apprentice here. This apprentice has the slow effect, I believe. There we go. Um, you can also close this. Um, you can kind of see here like what are the base stats of them, what, what's the effect of it, and all that kind of stuff. You can go all the way down to the highest ranked towers. Let me just put it like this. There's also new skills. So for example, skill Gatling Gun, that's, that's a new skill. This hero gains 100% attack speed, 50% damage, and 25% range for 10 seconds. Which is obviously increased by extra skill power, but that's a new skill. Um, that's the energy one. Yeah, for example, this one, all heroes moving range get splash, which is also nice. Uh, some lightning strikes that deal damage, which is also cool, and stuns them for one second. Really nice. Um, zero gains, uh, that's basically the same. Uh, this one, kind of as well. So, there's this concept in this game. Um, at some point, I believe it's wave 500, you get to the hard mode uh, or normal mode, I don't remember. And basically, um, things will get a weakness. So, for example, um, you'll get extra bonus from bonus damage from mages, but you'll do less damage with ranged heroes. So, as you can see, Warlord over here, that's actually a melee type of... Um, let me show you if we can have a better example here. So the militia is a melee type. I, I'm not actually sure if it shows somewhere. Um, no, I don't think it shows, but uh, maybe like this. Well, 
still kind of have to figure it out, I suppose. Maybe it shows, but I don't see it then. So, Militia is a melee type of hero, so he has short range but does like a little bit more damage compared to, for example, a Hunter. Let me just quickly make a Hunter. Hunter is a ranged. So, ranged does more damage to some targets, I guess, at some point. And then you have the Apprentice, and the Apprentice is a mage, and he does mage damage, magic damage, I suppose. Um, and yeah, that's basically how you'll have to build common uh, setups in order to defeat certain waves. You have the Necromancer, which is the end mage, we have the Warden, which is the end ranger, and Warlord, which is the end uh, melee guy. So, um, bosses, we have the bosses. Let me just spawn a boss, but I don't think I can actually kill it, because I'm pretty noob. Let me do these. Come on. Kill it, kill it, kill it. Oof. That was actually quite a lot of gold. Kill one more, one more, one more. Ah, failed the wave. Um, alright. Challenges, achievements, uh, these are just regular achievements, like uh, do so many super crits, so many crits and all that kind of stuff. Daily tasks, kind of the same, and then there's challenges, which are like uh, highest hero rank, uh, then daily task complete, most energy held at once, and all that kind of stuff. And you got some cool bonuses from there as well. There's also uh, pink PvP is still has to be developed, ranked is there, and stats is there as well. Stats are just like your, your stats from on the map, I suppose. Um, there is also a battle pass, if you want. And it's actually a permanent purchase. It will not reset, so you'll keep it. I think it's definitely worth its buck. Um, I don't think in-app purchases are working yet. Uh, in the beta. I think uh, they still need to be developed, so everybody's equal at the moment. Nobody has battle passes or anything, so... Um, but yeah, I mean, I mean, I will definitely get it. I mean, six mythic runes here. Can't say no to that. Uh, settings, uh, just everything, just like the regular settings, I suppose. Um, there is also cross-platform support, so you can go from one platform to another. You can go from Steam to Android, from Android to Steam, and to iOS for some kind of reason if you want that. <coughs> cup, cup. There's also a shop where you can get extra bonuses, of course, to support the developer, uh, to times damage, to times skill goals, which is a nice bundle. The damage is not going to do much, the point is uh, rank XP prestige is definitely nice. I would probably get this one if you if you really want to get the chest. You should probably get this one. It's probably one of the better ones. Um, free uh, remove gem cost. Free active play and continue wait. Yeah, that's probably also nice. Uh, these are the regular gem packs and then uh, extra packs from like the RP packs, basically, where you can get like some extra points. And you can get some mythic pack, uh, legendary packs, room packs, basically. So, um, I'm gonna die. Let me just upgrade the hunter. I should probably position it better. Ooh, see? Now he has synergy. Ooh, extra 10% skill cooldown. Really nice. Ooh, we got another room. Oh. There we go. Attack speed and enemy HP. Ooh, interesting. Alright, um, this is like the first preview of the game, um, I will definitely make more tutorials about this game because I've been playing the alpha and I really like it, so, but I still have to fear stuff out, so. If you want to play, um, definitely send this a message and he can maybe get you into a beta. He will basically give you a beta key and you just apply it to Steam. And then you can play the beta as long as you provide to give like feedback about the game and what is good and how we could improve it and 
stuff and suggestions for the future. Alright, um, that was it for the first intro of the game, I suppose. Uh, hope you guys enjoy the game. Hope you guys love it as much as I do. And yeah, see you guys. Goodbye.